Hello, this is Galit Goldfarb, and thank you very much for joining. September is back to school month. Some parents may be happy and some may be sad, but it's back to school month. And this is our opportunity as parents to help our children develop lifelong healthy eating habits. And it is not as difficult as we may think and the benefits are outstanding in the long term. Unfortunately, the statistics from the Center of Disease Control and Prevention show that one in every five children in the US are obese and one in every three children are overweight. Now, children who are overweight are more prone to high blood pressure, impaired blood sugar. They're more uh, prone to metabolic uh, syndrome, insulin resistance, and of course, weight gain, which um, leads to many other health consequences. And overweight children are also at greater risk for asthma and other chronic diseases, as well as depression and anxiety. And a recent study shows that children who are overweight are also more likely to become obese parents. Now, obesity in adulthood is linked with increased risk for heart disease, cancer, and type 2 diabetes. It is our responsibility as parents to ensure that our kids are receiving adequate nutrition to help them not only develop properly, but also to allow their body and brain to function at its best. And we can help our children form lifelong healthy habits by showing them the path to proper nutrition and lifestyle choices. So let's talk about breakfast. The best way to start the day is with a healthy, nourishing breakfast. And most children sleep many hours at night and there's a long period before their last meal at night and their breakfast in the morning. And when whole foods are not supplied for breakfast, then their body will start to break down proteins, including muscle tissue for energy. And this will delay growth and will have an adverse effect on their health. So we really wanna supply our children with a nutritious breakfast that will also ensure they will remain full until their next meal. So the foods need to be such that their breakdown takes time and doesn't lead to spikes in sugar levels, in their blood sugar levels, which will leave them with no energy to concentrate and focus, which actually requires much more energy than running around and playing. So focusing, concentration, needs much more energy, much more high carbohydrate foods. Some schools offer breakfast and it is wise to teach our children to opt for healthy food options. For example, we can show them the importance of choosing between whole grains instead of refined white options, which supply practically no nutrients and lead to sharp spikes in blood sugar levels. Moreover, bread made from refined carbohydrates generally also has lots of added oils and sugars, which will have an adverse effect on our child's health, behavior, and their brain function. We can also teach them to avoid fried foods and go for more natural options and to avoid sweetened beverages and to drink water instead. If school breakfasts are not available, it is quite easy to prepare a healthy quick meal to send with your child to school. All you need is to have the right ingredients at home. For example, oatmeal is great. You can prepare it at night before in a large batch and portion it into individual servings if your child especially likes it and wants it every day for breakfast at school. Then you have these different small boxes, uh, storage containers, preferably from glass, uh, in the refrigerator ready to send them uh, with their bag for school. And uh, it will be cool by the morning and you can add to it raisins, some chia seeds that have no flavor, but add a lot of omega-3 fatty acids, which are great for brain function. You can also add some fruits. Walnuts are also great for brain function or spices like cinnamon, which will add flavor to the oats. Toast is another great option. Just ensure it is made from real whole grains. Check the ingredients for E numbers and anything you can't pronounce. Aim for bread with as few ingredients as possible, preferably under six. And if there is more then probably these are ingredients that you don't want your child to be consuming. Some healthy sandwich or toast spreads can include peanut butter, um, sugar-free of course, preferably made from 100% peanuts. You can have hummus with cucumbers, avocado and tomatoes, or almond butter with lettuce or sesame seed paste with sugar-free natural jam. And another option for breakfast is smoothies, which are a great variation from time to time. You can pre-make a large batch of your favorite smoothie made only from fresh vegetables and fruits. 
and you may add some spirulina or chia or flax seeds into the smoothie for their health benefits. You can pour it into small little bottles and store it in the refrigerator and send it with your child to school. And you may also like to freeze some to make uh, small healthy icicles for dessert for your kids. Now also send your kids with fresh water in a bottle that they like to encourage that they are drinking sufficient water. I prefer glass bottles, they are the best and the healthiest. They don't leak any sort of uh, chemicals into the water. Um, other snacks I would recommend to send them, especially if they stay long hours at school or if they go to after school activities, then preparing individual portion snacks in small snack bags or small storage containers is great. Some healthy snack options include fruits. All of them are wonderful and very, very healthy. Natural nuts. Uh, there are so many to choose from. Surely you can find some that your child will like. There are pistachios, walnuts, macadamia, almonds, cashews. Surely you can find one that your child likes. Whole grain crackers, there are many types. Just check the ingredients for anything that is too much sugar, a lot of uh, salt, or any other preservatives that you don't want to have in your crackers. Popcorn is also great. You can uh, make it at home with a little coconut oil and also dried fresh fruits, such as dates, uh, figs, dried pineapples, dried bananas. They're excellent. Just make sure that when you buy them, they don't have food coloring or any preservatives. Vegetable sticks are also great. Cherry tomatoes, great snack possibilities. It is also important that you are a healthy role model because this is a very, efficient way to help your child form healthy habits and to prepare them to make future healthy food choices for themselves because your kids will most likely model your behaviors sooner or later. Now make sure you are eating a healthy diet full of natural vegetables, whole grains, legumes, fruits, seeds and nuts and aim also to eat together with your children as often as possible and lead by example by eating lots of salad, lots of lettuce, and different kinds of vegetables with your meals. Also have a water filter system at home to provide fresh, cool water and to encourage more drinking. And also to make healthy eating uh, habits more easy, I would recommend that you only have health promoting foods at home so that you won't be tempted to eat anything that is unhealthy and your children will also not be tempted. Now, exercise is very, very important. I recommend that you be physically active so that your kids get a good example from you. Also sign up your kids to after school sports or do some physical activity together with your children. The current recommendations for physical activity for children is about one hour a day. And that's quite easily achieved because they're very active anyway, children. You can play ball with your children, take your kids for a walk with the dog if you have one, or go to a skate park, or ride a bike together. You can also encourage your children to help around the house. Doing household activities is very, very <laughs> energy consuming. And also you can meet up with friends to do sports together. These are great ways to reduce the amount of screen time that your kids have and make them more physically active. So I hope these tips have helped you and I hope you have a wonderful year for you and your kids. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up. You may subscribe to my channel or visit my website for lots of health and nutrition content that is free for you. Thank you very much for joining. Have a great week.